you know, I, I think, and I really believe this, that um, when you tell the truth, it echoes in a way, like it touches people in a way. And my very first play I wrote was called Jitter, and um, I wrote it about how I broke up with my girlfriend, and I broke her heart, and it was, just, we were in high school, and I loved her, but I was gay, and you know, it's just like, I wrote this really, really serious play about the awful things we did to each other. And when it was first read, the very first time it was read, the audience laughed, like from the first moment to the last. And I sat there going, it's a comedy, it's a comedy, it's a comedy. Like, just like in shock, like not really knowing like, that I had written comedy or anything. And um, it took me like six months to get over that. <laughs> but when the play was finally done, um, I was at peace with that. And the point is, is that the things that were really truthful in it, I mean, I basically like to tell the truth, were the things that people were like, they elbow each other, like, look that to you, you know, like, and um, I just find that now here I am, you know, like many years later, and, and of course these are true stories, and so I think that by telling this true story that is based on something that is truly painful that happened in my life, and uh, putting it into a place where I can share it with people, that I believe that this will have a resonance with the audience and that people, it will be healing in a way. I mean, the shows have been about a lot of different things, but this one is about loss, you know, hence the title Lost in Staten Island. And, you know, when we had the first reading of it, this play here in the studio, many people came up to me afterwards and it's like, it doesn't really matter that it's about your brother because who, uh, who, I mean, you're lucky if you've never experienced that kind of personal loss, but, but the idea that I could tell a story that was truthful, that people would hear, that would somehow talk to them and give them something, you know, there's the feeling that, A, you're not alone in the world. You know, it's like, it's just, you know, people, human beings, we see each other for our differences. I mean, it's survival, and we're taught to, like, we look at each other, oh, you have brown eyes, oh, your eyes are a little wider, you know, your jaw is different. But if you could step back 100 feet, we'd all look the same. I mean, zebras probably can't tell us apart, like we can't tell zebras apart, because to us, they all look the same. But the same thing is true about your emotions and your life story. And like, when you tell the truth, and you put something out there, I mean, it, it's so personal. This, this story could not be more personal, but I'm convinced that when people hear it, they will feel themselves, you know, in the story, and that they'll come away from it, hopefully, with um, a feeling that, you know, they're not alone in the universe and, and, and with their sense of loss. Like, how do you, like, deal with this? And, you know, loss is one of those things that when you share it with someone, you grow from the experience. And um, both you and the person you share it with end up feeling better in the end. And, you know, that's what the story really is about. Um, it's not about the death, but more about what happens after. So that's what I'm hoping.